Okay, excitingly enough, this isn't a bird bath. <laughs> but this is a gift. Snip the sanitary into the bed. All oh, right, okay. Not a bed. Oh, wow. Is that attached to it? Yes, it is. But we can definitely do something with that. We'll definitely use the wood and do something with it. Oh, well, thank you. Wow. Oh, look at the gorgeous little chair. How absolutely super cute is that? Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, tassels. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous is that? If you, if you cut down the tassels, it's more or less a light fitting, isn't it? Oh, oh I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, and another tassel. Tassels are always great. We can always use them. Ooh. I keep saying ooh, but I am actually fascinated. Wow. Ooh, we can definitely use that as well. Like a Chinese landscape. Oh gosh, yeah. It's like um it's not a cross stitch, but it's that kind of thing. Wow. Gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Such a kind lady. Yes. Oh, we talked about these. Oh, wow. Look out there. Well, well, what's that then? It does say something on there. Not sure. But gorgeous for a little dressing table, that. Assume it's some sort of oh, like plastic. Oh, it's like plasticine or something inside. Not sure what it is, or some sort of wax. Anyway, it's probably an old cosmetic. <laughs> but it's really cute, isn't it, for a dressing table? That I love it. Yeah, and we talked about these. They said they make great um, pieces for ceiling roses. Oh, yeah, she's printed off some little prints. Oh, some lovely classics. Oh, yeah. Hello, you're handsome. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Oh, she's nice. Like, I wonder if that's Queen Victoria. I think it might be, you know. As a young lady. I'm not sure. Doesn't say on the back, but anyway, really gorgeous pictures, lovely. Thank you. I should make use of those. Ink blenders. Oh, I haven't got any of those. Oh, thank you. I do a little bit of paper crafting, so oh, that's great. They stick on there, fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, I should. I've always wondered what they look like. Wow. Great stuff, thank you. And it doesn't have to be for card making. Of course, you can make anything fade in and fade out and look whole. Oh. <laughs> Saw something in there. I thought instantly thought they're going to be lavender. No, nope. like little bean bags. How cute! And look. <laughs> A little mini snout. Oh, that's so cute. Lying on his little cushion. Oh, nice then. He is adorable. Thank you so much. There were some absolutely fantastic things there. Thank you. Right, I'm back. It's just a quickie today. I have these two drawer handles. They're very small, they're nice small ones. So what I'm going to do is I thought I'd make some bed canopies of them. I haven't got a matching set of beds yet, but you know, I'm forever hopeful. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, my plan is I've 
I've got these two bits of an old doll dress. I think you've seen me use it before on the fireplace in the Brigadier's house. And as you can see, it's tatty, it's not straight, it's holy. But I don't care because that's the look I'm going for. So I'm just going to neaten the edges with a zigzag. Uh, I'm just going to keep the lace at the bottom. I might put a bit of lace in there. This is going to be really quick. It's going to be one of the quickest things you've probably seen me do. You see there's holes in all kinds. So anyway... Uh, we'll get on with neatening the edges and decide then if I'm going to put anything on the sides or not. So this really is just a fast bit of a cheat really. We haven't always got time to do things, you know, to perfection. So this is one of those. <laughs> I'm just getting it done. I'm keeping the video short. So I'm just folding it in half and I'm just going to cut up the middle to as far as I think, which is going to be about, about there I think. So before I go any further, I'm going to completely zigzag it. You don't need to see that, so I'll bring you back. After I'd zigzagged it, I decided to attach some lace to the opening um, of the canopy and that's what I'm doing here. And as you can see, Storm's in the background there, just stalking up and down, watching me. Uh, and I didn't even notice him, to be honest with you, because I was so busy sewing. But anyway, um, it was nothing difficult, just sewing the lace on, and I kind of mited it at the top so it was pointed. So anyway, we'll get on with it. I thought to show you quickly, I decided to sew this down on the sewing machine so rather than a straight stitch i've just gone in with a a curved one so the edges are flat to the fabric so whether this will keep fading or not i don't mind i'm really going for old faded dirty grungy look <laughs> so hopefully that's what we'll get okay so that whoops that's the wrong side that's what it looks like so now all i'm going to do is glue that into there, like that, as close to the gathers as I can. So then two tie backs, and that'll be it done. I said it was going to be simple, and I didn't lie. So uh, I'll find some glue. I'm not quite sure what to use yet. I'll cross that bridge right now, really. <laughs> so let's hope that works. Big thanks to anybody who's left me a comment and a thumbs up and subscribed. I do really appreciate it and it all helps the channel grow and it also creates a community. I get to know the people that are commenting on a regular basis just because I see you there every week and it's fantastic and thank you for that, for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I know I need a microphone because I've had comments saying that people can't hear me properly. Any donations made through Kofi will go towards a microphone. Kofi link is in the description. Right, below. so as you can see, the glue's in there. It seems to be holding okay at the moment, so that's good. So the bed canopies are going in this house. Now, I am a bit ahead of schedule. <laughs> I still haven't done anything to the door or taken the paper off the sides, but I just can't help myself. So anyway, I'll give you a look now. So as you can see, like I said, I've only got one bed at the moment, but I think they're going to look really nice. So that's what I wanted. Rough and ready just look like they've been there forever. And hopefully they do. So, yeah, I mean, maybe not quite perfect for the job. It didn't look quite how I did in my head, but they're all right. I'll live with it. Well, I thought today we'd have a look around my stockbroker's house. Now, it dates from the 1930s, and I know this because it has curved brackets rather than angular ones. And it also has the range cooker, which makes it the earlier model. Now, it's very high up because it's on my chest or chest, which is must be i'm five foot eight and i think it's about five foot ten five foot eleven so i'm gonna to have to climb on a stool to show you now i've never touched this house or done anything to it but i can tell you that it's quite big actually it's about i think it's 46 or 47 inches wide it's a good one anyway so we'll start off having a look at the garage now you can see 
a little bit it does say garage on there i haven't done this i say i haven't touched this house i just brought it home polished it and put it up here <laughs> and um it's here for the time being because i'm starting to run out of room to put my things so from what i can tell i think that's the original paint inside and this obviously doesn't belong to me. Now, unfortunately, I can't get any extra lighting up here. Um, I've only got the one light in my bedroom and it's uh, not that bright. So sorry, but there's no way I can get a light up this high. I've forgotten I've got a light on my iPad. <laughs> so anyway, now you can see him. There's not much in this house. So above the garage is the bathroom. So how cute is that? It's all metal, so I just think it's really sweet, especially the loo. And I've even got a little toilet roll holder I need to put on the wall there. So that's the inside of the door. As you can see, at some point someone's put some, I would say that's newish lace. I mean, you can see the stained roof and the old mirrors. Right, we'll move on to the next room. So I'm going to open this room now. They're all on with little latches, as you can see. And in here, I do have a few bits, not many. I've got a Barton's cork cupboard. Pretty sure the Barton's. I can't remember now. <laughs> and the four poster bed. And what is meant to be, I'll just show you, a wardrobe. Doesn't open, it's just a block of wood painted. Very naive, but in a weird kind of way, I quite like it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's quite cute. Whoop. <laughs> Don't know whether I'll keep it or not. Let's say there's quite a bit to do to this. You can see the dust flying around. Gracious. <laughs> Looks like orbs everywhere. I assure you, it's just dust. <laughs> right, so this is the kitchen. Now, one thing I do love in this house is the floors. I do think they're really nice. And you can see a little broom and brush and there's some salt. And that's the range. And obviously the sink and I put a little plastic bowl in it. But yeah, like I say, there's not a lot to see, but it is nice. And the other thing I forgot to show you is actually the back door. It does open and that's what goes into the bathroom. So I think that's quite cute. But yeah, you can imagine it could be a nice kitchen. And one thing, I won't be changing any papers in this. I'm keeping them all. And the floors. The windows are just bays. Oh, what's that? A little naked baby. No! <laughs> She's tiny. You can see how discoloured the windows are because that way lace looks new there. You close it up and all of a sudden it turns vintage because all the perspex has gone so brown and warped. And some of the windows need refitting. And this has been overpainted. The wood should be a wood colour, obviously, and this should be a much paler cream with all the flowers at the bottom. But I quite like it. We'll see. I did introduce this as the stockbroker's house. And in all honesty, apparently, it's not called that in their catalogue. It was named by a triangle enthusiast and it's stuck ever since. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll get on with the middle section. So the front door does open nicely. Like I say, all the wallpaper's really drab. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it. Hang on, we'll just shut the door over a bit. There. Not a lot to see, there's nothing in there. But you get the gist. The roof as well has been overpainted, but quite nicely, I think. I like it. Right, so now onto the other section of the house. Oh, I've undone the wrong latch. It's at the side here. It opens this way. Ooh. Hang on, I think I'll keep move my stool and get a better view. So here's the living room. I mean, I really like that paper on the floor. I don't know if the else does, but I do. A little door opens, obviously, into the hallway. And what is this strangest life spitting you've ever seen? I actually thought somebody had stuck a jam jar 
but in actual fact, it's got the lip there. I mean, is that a screw or is it a lip? I don't know. It could be a jar, couldn't it? Anyway, it's staying for now. I'm not a, a big fan of it, to be fair, but, you know. <laughs> Somebody obviously thought it was a good idea because it should have lights in this house. It has got some. But little wooden furniture. It's all just wooden. Very 30s. Little bookcase. Cigarettes. Let's see if I can get you one. Not that you want a cigarette, surely, but, you know. There you go. Wood bang. There you go, little cigarettes. Non filtered as well. How bad for you? No. So, yeah, so then there's the upstairs. A broken rocking horse, but I do like it, so I'm keeping it. Another painted chest and a cute little bed. The bed's very cute, actually. Let's see. Ooh. Now, I think this house is probably 16th scale. So, but that's, that's cute, isn't it? It's got to be. And as you can see, the little door here opens into the porch, which we can have a look in from this side. I've got a lamppost there. There you go. A little bench to sit around, put your wellies on and take, take them off. Yeah, on the side of the house is... So the little 1930s boy you've seen me with before, he's coming to live here. And what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of making some dolls and making them the famous five. And this is going to be, is it their auntie's house they go away to? I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, something like that I think will be nice. So look out for the famous five. There we are. There it is in all its glory. There you go. Gorgeous house. I love it. 